ass. What a shitload of fuck. I'd rather castrate a cat than play this game. You can't do anything. You can't do anything to stop them. They just shoot you and you can't like block it or anything. The he looks like Hank Hill, yeah. What's with... He's got like a big long head. Come with me if you want to live, Bobby. Now I haven't seen Terminator 2 in like a long time, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't open with like everyone in the bar shooting Arnold. Oh my god! Arnold! That lady was just minding her own business! Yep, this is a this is a shitty game. I, I was not wrong picking this to stream. I'm not gonna be playing through all of these, I'm just gonna be having a little taste of the shit. Now I remember hearing stories about this driving stage. This is... Uh, how do I... how do I turn? How do I turn? Oh, but... why is... okay. Oh my god. I'm at a loss for words. What is... why... Why does it control like this? Why? Why did they do this? Why? I can't... I don't think I can accurately express how horrible this controls. Okay, so I'm pressing up, I'm pressing diagonal to, to turn. I'm not turning. I've just pressed down. And I'm dead. Good. Good game. Well, this one I think you should all be a little more familiar with. Now this one I actually have experience with. Uh, I did a let's play of this, like, several years ago. This was, like, made, like, after Street Fighter, I think? So there was already, like, a standard for good fighting games. This is not a good fighting game. Swatch! It's all in the jump kick. That's all the strategy in this game is. It's all in the jump kick and how well you can time it. And how many times it just goes through them. Okay, next is the worst boss in the game. By far. It's, it's Bolton, I think. Yeah, it's Bolton. More like bullshit. This is where the jank of the game really starts to show. Like, if you weren't convinced within the first, like, three stages, it, it shows its full nature here. You're jank, but the monsters aren't, so they can just wail on you, and it, it's, it's, this game sucks. I like how faithful it is to the show, but other than that, it doesn't have anything going for it. Good game. Make out of context this, make out of context that. I only have so much time, man. I could be spending it playing shitty video games. A. Now don't spoil what the game looks like yet. Okay, this is a Chinese bootleg. Okay, so in this game, you are a monkey. Eh? It's pretty cool, huh? Now, the, sa the weird thing about this game is that it's almost good, because if you just listen to this music, this music is amazing. What the f- What the f- Okay, I take that back. Good, good enemy placement. I forget what it is. It's like... <sighs> I can't beat this game without the rewind feature. I'm sorry. That is not how physics are supposed to work in your video game. A little tip. When you jump on an enemy, it shouldn't send you back. He goes up automatically. I can't convey that. I can't convey how horrible this feels. 
Don't climb up, you monkey fuck. <laughs> monkey. These devs came from the lower pits of hell. And by hell, I mean China. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. There we go! Jesus H. Christ on a bicycle. Bet, 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 bet. Monk. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I should have streamed this on Monkey Monday. Okay, I think we're done with this game. This game is a lot of fun. Anyways, Fist of the North Star. The horrible video game adaptation. In this game, you play uh, Mad Max Kenshiro with wearing sunglasses. He does the ah. <laughs> Okay, so you collect these stars to become more powerful. You can punch and kick, but only the punches give you stars. I don't remember which part of the manga this adapts. I think it's like after the time skip. I've only read up until like the end of the first half of the series. Though I'm pretty sure it only vaguely resembles the source material anyways. Do you like this music? It only gets worse. Okay, here's something really fun. Uh, in order to progress with the level, you have to enter one of these doors. How do you enter one of these doors? Well, pressing up just makes you jump. So the only way to go inside these doors is to press A and B at the same time. Game design. Oh, what? What happened? I died? He just, he, he won, what? He one-shotted me. How did, wh why? How? I think after I die here, I'm going to move on to the next game. Yep, I'm moving on to the next game. Kung Fu Mari. Oh. You know what, this doesn't look too bad, actually. Like, whatever game this used to be. The music is nice, uh, the graphics are appealing, it doesn't look like a bootleg throw-up, other than Mario's head. That That's just inexcusable, I mean, look at that. Let's see, Mario 7, is this the one I played? Granddad! Flintstones? Uh, Granddad! Granddad! What the shit? That was the only reason why. Just to quote that, that was the only reason why. Time Cop. Excuse me, what was that? Is this a digitized games where they like take a actor and digitize them? Time Enforcement Commission. Thanks to Max Walker and the Time Enforcement Commission Tech, the time travel system created by Professor Hans Kielian distant fall into center of Aaron's McCombs' hands in a security system called Times kind of developed into Ooh, when he turns around, there's like a whole second delay so they could show this animation. I, I hate how this feels. <laughs> Here's me hitting the button. There's the animation playing out. Good game. I like how they can kick in like a millisecond, but I have to take a million fucking years to wind the kick up. What a shitload of fuck. I'd rather suck, uh, the, uh, the taint, I'd rather lick the taint of an angry donkey. What were they thinking? Yep, this is a piece of shit. Moving on. Wizard of Oz for the Super Nintendo. Whoa! <laughs> Not... e rap e Not frere. Arikanai. Oh, that's a cat cactus. Aww. What? Why? Hmm. The end. And the game, it boots you back to the title screen? Why? This is dumb. Uh, I, I can only take so many bad games at once.